why this is the end results of our chicken and gelada in red sauce. It is fabulous, y'all. It's tasteful. Tastes so good, tasteful, and it's so full of chicken and cheese. And that sour cream just made it extra nice. So I'm going to just show you a little piece of it, how it looks inside there. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's the angelata right there. And look how beautiful that is. That is beautiful. Oh, taste these dishes. Mm, mm, mm. This is a wonderful, wonderful angelata. So look, with the beans in there, and chicken, and the corn. Mm. It is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And this is recipe. I was sold for queen.net. After this presentation, I show you how to make this wonderful chicken angelata with red sauce. It is fabulous, y'all. And thank you for watching. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is what I call my angelatas, the chicken angelatas. A lot of people love angelatas, and people make them so different. So I'm going to make mine today and let you see if you like them. I want you to try them and see if you like it. But with the chicken and the lodges, you got the, now they have green sauce, excuse me, they have green sauce and they have red sauce. So I'm going to do a red sauce. A lot of people don't like green sauce in the andaladas. I don't know why, but I love it. But I'm going to do the sauce that's not green. I'm going to do sort of like a red sauce. My daughter don't like uh, the green sauce. My other daughter do, and I like the red and the green or either or. So what I'm going to do first is show you how to season the chicken. you got to make sure that chicken is seasoned real good in those angelatas. So what I'm going to do is show you this little spice here that i got here. So what you're going to do is put a teaspoon, because we're just going to do this right here. So we're going to put a teaspoon of onion powder, excuse me. We're going to put a teaspoon of cumin. Yeah, we'll put a teaspoon of cumin in there, y'all. And we're going to do a teaspoon of garlic. Garlic makes it real good. A teaspoon of garlic. And then we're going to put a teaspoon of oregano. Yes, oregano. Oregano is a good spice from Spain. So we're going to put it right there in there like that. We're going to put a teaspoon of pecorica. Everything's a teaspoon, y'all. Oh, that's a little bit. Well, I think we done got a teaspoon, so we put that back in there like that. Okay, don't hurt to put a little bit more in there. You know, I've done it before. We're going to put a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, you could put at least less if you want, but I'm going to put a teaspoon of mine. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a teaspoon of mine, y'all. Like that. Then we're going to put some chili powder. A teaspoon of chili powder goes in this dish here. Because all we're going to do is just uh, put the chili powder in there like that, y'all. There you go. And we're going to put a little salt. Let's see what I did with the salt and the black pepper. We put a little salt, black pepper like that. Just to put a little salt taste in there. That's all be about a teaspoon. And we're going to put some black pepper like that. And we're going to blend this together like this, y'all. I hope y'all in the camber. Everybody's doing fine. So we're going to blend this together just like this. Smell terrific, y'all. So we're going to blend this together. These little spices. Okay, we'll make sure they blend. And then we're going to sprinkle on this chicken that I got sitting over here. And then we're going to fry it or broil it. Now, either or, you want to fry it or you can broil it. Whatever you want to do, turn it over on the other side, y'all. Just like that. Make sure it's real, real good. Just a little bit more. And we're going to fry ours. Yeah, we're going to fry We're going to broil it. Put this in this fry right there. Let it fry. And let it get it golden brown and we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna let you see what it look like when you come back I got it in this pan and it's frying and we'll be right back and let you see what it look like okay all right our chicken is brown now this is chicken breast so I don't want to cook it too 
really entirely real done because it's going to be inside the oven. So we cooked it about maybe about 80% cooked or 95, well, but about 80%. So I'm going to put it aside and then the drippings, and we're going to need some onion. Let me get this out the way, y'all, because we got some stuff here. We're going to need some onion, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. We're going to need that. And we're going to bring this over to the, so you can see it, I guess. Let's see if I can move it over like that. And we're going to use these renderings right there. And we're going to put some flour. Put some flour in there. We got a little oil in there. We're going to put some flour in there just like this, y'all. Just enough to make a little sauce for the angelatas. Just enough like this. This is a regular kitchen, y'all. You see, I'm using this flour in a sack like this. I'm almost out of it. Got to buy some more. Okay, we're gonna use that. Let's see what I gotta get. And we're gonna do this just like this. We're gonna make this just like this. I hope y'all in the camera. I think y'all might be in there. Let's see. A little bit turned over. We're gonna turn this over just like this and render that uh, spices in there. So that just like that. Just render that in there and that I guarantee you it will taste good. Okay, what we're gonna do now, when well, we got this all rendered together on the sides here. So what we're gonna do now is add the onions and the bell pepper and the celery. We're gonna render this like this. Now these are gonna be some good angelolas. Chicken and the Oh, chicken and the just plain. No, baby. If you do this recipe, they are not plain. So we're gonna let this render and cook until it gets semi done now if you want them real real done you make them real real done and i'm gonna add a little oil in here because it looks like we need a little more oil in it you can use olive oil or canola oil it's like a little bit more oil in there so we're gonna stir this together now like i said if you want a semi you can have it semi done or you can have it real done depends on how you feel about it you know now some people want it semi-done because they want those vitamins and nutrition in there, which it is a great thing to do. But we're just gonna do this like this. Get it all incorporated. Smelling so good up in the house, y'all. Ooh, it smells so good. So we're gonna need to get some uh, tomato paste and put it in here because tomato paste goes in here. Yeah, it's gonna, use, it's gonna be a red sauce, y'all. Like a red sauce, okay? Now we're gonna let this cook a little bit more and we'll be right back. All right, this is uh done the way I want it. So we're gonna put corn. I have corn inside this. Now you put as much as you want, but don't put it a lot because corn is a thickener mostly. We have some beans. Put some beans in there, y'all. Wow. That's gonna be really good. Ain't it? Some beans in there like that. That's just going to be really smelling good. It's smelling good and tasting good, okay? Then we're going to add some, um, tomato sauce. And then just like that. And then we're going to add the remaining of the spices. Y'all thought y'all going to keep that, huh? No, we're going to add it to these enchiladas. Like that, we're gonna cook them in down like that. Let them get real, 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 real good in there. Like that. So that's gonna be good, y'all. What y'all talking about? And a little bit more sauce. Okay. And then we're gonna cut the chicken up. We're gonna add the chicken inside. Okay, we're gonna cut the chicken up in little wedges. Like that. And you can shred it if you want. You can shred it if you want. Or you can just put it in that hole. I guess it depends on how you feel about that. Y'all know you're gonna put it in that hole. Okay, we're gonna uh cut it up like this in shreds. So it can be bite-sized when you uh slice into the angelata. Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay, that's ought to be pretty good right there, y'all. And we're going to add it to this. 
Just like that. That is delicious, y'all. We're going to add this to this. All the juices and stuff came out. We're going to add it to that. These are some fantastic chicken and gelatas, y'all. Look at here. Ooh, good to have a seen some made like this before. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. We're going to let this simmer for a minute or two, and we'll be right back. All right, our chicken and gelato mixture that goes inside is ready. We we'll let it simmer for a minute. I got to cut off, so I'm gonna move it over to the side because we don't need to have that in in the way. So what I'm gonna do is show the little pan that I'm gonna put it in. I'm not gonna make a lot of them. It's a little pan, and you get you some regular angelata sauce and put it at the bottom. You can make you some angelata sauce, or you can just uh, make it uh, with the angelata sauce that's already made, which is Okay, why should I make angelata sauce and I, it's already made, you know, hey, it's fine. You know, you know, I can make it, but I just didn't make it today. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, get some tortillas and we're going to move this over to the side. Get some tortillas and lay it out like this. And then we're going to use uh, some sour cream. We need some sour cream to spread it with. Yes, some sour cream just like this. Spread it around and about. Just enough part in the middle, a little on the sides, whatever you feel like. Put them, you know, just put it around like that. Okay, then we're going to get our, our mixture. The chicken mixture smells so good in the house, y'all. We're going to put it in like that. Just like that, those chicken enchiladas are kicking up a notch. They smell so good, and especially the seasoning that we put in there. Now you can make them healthy, or you can make them thin. Depends on how you want them, you know. We're gonna make them kind of healthy. Then we're gonna add some little cheese. Let's get the cheese go on top of it. Now the beans and the corn is a plus, y'all. It's a plus. We put some uh, cheddar cheese. And we're going to put some mozzarella cheese, too. Now, you can buy that uh, Mexican blend if you want. That will be good, too. And we're just going to do just this right here. Okay, we're going to roll it up. Come to the end. Roll it up like that. And then we're going to place it in this pan right here. Now, I'm going to cut some of the ends off of it like, like that. And I'm going to put it face down like that. Okay? Do another one. Making a mess, y'all. But it tastes good. Okay, what we're going to do is get another one. Put the um, sour cream on it. Like this. Like I said, I'm not going to make a lot. Maybe four come into this dish like this. Spread it out. And then we're going to add the salt. I'm in the mixture. Now you can buy them small the, uh, tortillas, but I found them kind of big. I don't know why. I guess because they were on sale. Maybe that's why. Do it like that. Add the cheese. be cheesy. What's going to be so good about it? The, uh, the sour cream makes it taste good as well. I'm going to do like that with that. Get it together. I'm going to cut the sides off. I'm going to put this part with the pleat inside the sauce. Okay, probably one more and I'll be right back and let's see what we do next. Okay, we end up with three. So you're going to have to share one with someone if you're having four people over. Well, anyway, we're going to put some uh, sour cream on top, just like this. Spread it on top and get it all even, all over. Just like that, the sour cream. Yes, sour cream just does something to chicken and gelatas to me, y'all. Okay, we got it all blended together. 
Then we're gonna pull the sauce. So like in the middle. You know, you want it to be spread on its own. Put the sauce on. And then we're gonna use cheese. We're gonna use sliced cheese like this. I like the sliced cheese on top. Just like that. Now you can use shredded cheese, any cheese you like, you can use it. But we're just using this uh, sliced cheese. And then we're gonna put it in the oven and let it get bubbly and we'll be right back and let you see what it looks like. All right, here are end results of our chicken angeladas but red sauce instead of green sauce. And it is fabulous, y'all. It is so fabulous. It is the, what you want in an angelata. We're gonna let it sit for a minute, and then we're gonna take it out and let you see what it looks like. But I just got out the oven, and this is what it looks like. And I'm telling you, look at that red sauce. It is fabulous, y'all. We'll be right back and let you look at it when we get it set for about, I'm gonna 10 minutes so it can get firm, like, and then we'll serve it, okay?